So my name is Eric. I'm returning just over a year later. I believe it's 13 months after the first time I came down here. My lower back, I have two herniated, one bulging disc, two shoulder surgeries here on my left, one here. And then I have a dead guy's tendon in my right knee from a PCL injury. I am avoiding at any cost another surgery. I don't want other surgeries. So the option was, are there things out there to fix this? The point of stem cells, in my mind at least, is trying to repair and therefore grow something that is damaged or worn out. You have a lot more plus side and way less negative side in the risk pool. So my name is Eric. I'm returning just over a year later. I believe it's 13 months after the first time I came down here. Wrestled in high school, played football in high school, played rugby in college, played rugby a little bit after college, started training at AKA kickboxing. A uh, little bit larger frame. I popped up to where I am right now, four or five years ago due to injuries. Bumps and bruises kind of add up, little injuries here and there, you know, you grin and bear it. And then at a certain point, it starts inhibiting what you do. My lower back, I have two herniated, one bulging disc, two shoulder surgeries here on my left, one here. Playing rugby in college, I had a slap tear over here, um, superior labrum tear off. I went in, they stapled it back on, never been really right. And then I have a dead guy's tendon in my right knee from a PCL injury. Like that cadaver's tendon was an Achilles tendon off a cadaver that they shaved down to the size you need. And then they literally drill through your shin bone and weave it around. I'm avoiding at any cost another surgery. I don't want other surgeries. Didn't have a great response with my PCL. It was never the same. The downside of the surgery is you're six months out in rehab and uh, you're not really 100% sure whether you're going to get back to where you are, where you wanted to be, or even where you were when you started. And then at the end of it, it's still damaged. You're like, wait, hold on a second. So wait, I have to then go back in and try to fix this again and have another six month repair process okay what are your options at the end of the day like painkillers or you know some type of other surgery stem cells for me going through it just over a year ago you have several days of being sore after the injection and then you have months of it slowly improving but you're not re-damaging this thing more by injecting stem cells you have a lot more plus side and way less negative side in the risk pool. So last year I got injections into uh, both of my shoulders. Not that horrible. It's a pain for three days a week, maybe 10 days. Lower back, I had three discs injected and I had five of the facets, so the joint on the back of the disc. And then I had uh, both knees injected. I've had some improvement, but I have a lot more friends that have had a lot of improvement. I did not have a negative reaction. I have said the least positive out of the four people that I know personally, right? So the back is improved from where it was a year ago. Not like leaning over in, in pain when it flares up. My hope is in coming back is to get a little bit more improvement, hopefully a lot of improvement, but even just a little bit more improvement is still better than the alternative. So I'm trying to do very likely both shoulders again, and very likely the knee again. He is one of our follow-ups from one year. Originally, he came to treat his lower back, both shoulders and knee. Shoulders, he had had a bunch of surgeries, like constant pain uh, without any improvement. Uh, first time we injected both with 20 million stem cells. Now he's coming back, he feels much better. Still this time we decided to reinforce, like boost uh, the, both of the shoulders again. Originally, one of his knees was doing really bad. He had a, a lot of pain and there was a lot of degenerative process in that knee. The good thing, and as I told him, is like it hasn't got worse. Like usually when you see a degenerative process going on, you expect that year by year they get worse. So we decided to give him a booster again, this time also adding chondrocytes, that are our, our stem cells that are specifically trained to work with cartilage tissue. That's the plan we have with him and we would like to follow him up again like either in a year or so to see how he has improved. The point of stem cells in my mind at least is trying to repair and therefore grow something that is damaged or worn out. You're trying to regrow it so that it works properly. Nothing live is guaranteed, but stem cells has a very low risk side to it, like for the upside game.